Alright guys, this is Kennard back again with another video. In this video, I just want to show you how you can add a favorite icon to your website. And before I know how to no do this, I mean, it kind of baffled me. I mean, I really thought it was kind of cool how people would have these icons in their websites. But how did, how, how did they do it? So, I'm going to show you today. If you look up here, Animoto has the A as their favorite icon. Facebook, of course, has the F. And then Google has nothing, which is a blank page. This is what my, my website used to look like before I added that favorite icon to it. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Or a favicon for short. So if you go ahead and uh, s do a search for favorite icon generator, and it's going to pull up a page full of uh, different generators that you can use. Okay, the one that I find the easiest to use is this one right here, the first one. So go ahead and click there. It's going to bring you to a page where you're going to be able to upload any picture that you want that you're going to be able to use as your favicon. So you're going to click browse. You're going to upload a picture and just click create icon. Very simple, very easy. You don't need to be technical about this, okay? So if you notice here, it's going to give you a preview of what that favicon is going to look like here in your web browser you're going to click download favicon right there and then also you want to copy this link right here copy that I've opened a, a notepad so you can paste it in there okay and you're going to be able to upload this downloaded favicon uh, to your website so if you're using a WordPress blog if you're using a static web page or website you can upload it uh, as an image into your WordPress or uh, your website. Okay, so I'm using WordPress, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that website right now. Uh, NoMoreLimits.com, WordPress forward slash admin. That's how you access the back of your WordPress. And then, of course, you're going to type in your password. I'm already logged in, so. Once you get into the WordPress back office, what you want to do is find this link here. It says Media. Click on Media. And you're going to want to add a new picture. So you click Add New. Okay. I've already added uh, a file. So I'm just going to show you uh, exactly what it looks like after oh goodness <coughs> just click edit uh, oh, I'm sorry don't forget about that <coughs> okay so you want to go ahead and upload that file once it's uploaded it's gonna give you an address you're gonna take this address here copy this address and we're going to go ahead and paste it right here in that link that I showed you, okay? Right before the uh, quotation marks there. Then you're going to take that whole link, copy that whole link, go back to your WordPress website, and come down here into the appearance. You're going to click Editor. and you're going to find the header dot php once you're in the header what you're looking for is you're going to be putting this coding anywhere uh, before the head closes so if you take a look here okay we're going to find the header all right you want to place this code right before the close of the head okay and I've already placed it which is right here but that's all you do you're gonna go ahead and uh, paste it and you're gonna update the file once it's been updated you can preview your website to see what it looks like and that's all to it uh, like I said I've already done that I just want to kind of walk you all through it 
but it's going to show you the favicon right there in the corner and then it's also going to show you the favicon right there if you have any questions just uh, submit a comment to me and i'll help you out any way i can i'll talk to you soon